Welcome to Dreams of Wings and welcome here to Fenland Aerodrome, which is a new release by Burning Blue Design. And thank you very much to them for giving me the opportunity to fly this airfield in the sim. We're going to take a look at it today and then we're going to take a little flight in the Tiger Moth just to have a look around. So interestingly, there's a little bit of a challenge with this airfield. Um, it's dubbed the hardest airfield to find in the UK. And if you have a look at YouTube, you'll see that there are videos in there where people refer to it in that way. So it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like from the air. I should also say at this point, keep your lug holes open, that's ears, and uh, do look out for a competition that will come later on in the video uh, where you'll get asked a question and you need to have paid attention. Okay, so let's talk about what we have here and I'm going to read from the Burning Blue Design uh, information because as always they spent a lot of time getting their wording right and who am I to change that and make a complete hash of it. So Fenland Airfield has been recreated faithfully over many hundreds of hours by Burning Blue Design with the aid of on-site visit and an aerial tour of the airfield and features. Over 70 custom 3D objects have been created exclusively for Fenland Aerodrome each with full physical based rendering PBR allowing for far more realistic textures. There are tens of thousands of carefully placed stock assets, every fence, picnic table and tree along with an assortment of visitors and staff has been placed in the correct location ensuring an atmosphere of a working airfield. Hello to you Mav, yes I spotted you in there. High resolution colour corrected ground textures taken from Bing maps and manipulated for consistency and realism which far surpasses the quality of the stock Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 ground texture. Based on 2022 layout with accurate runway markings, taxiways and custom taxi signs and a working custom windsock. Highly detailed control tower and hangar interiors and animated hangar doors which close and open between dawn and dusk. Actual aircraft from the aerodrome have been included. These are the de Havilland Chipmunk Mark 20 in Portuguese Air Force livery and uh, Icarus C-42 Golf November De Delta Papa Alpha, a frequent visitor to the airfield. Correct AI pattern procedures and accurate taxiway and runway placement have been incorporated into the release and full night lighting has been placed across the airfield and within and around the hangars and buildings. And there you see it. Burning Blue Design are absolutely great at creating detail, ambience, realism with their airfields. I love their grass strip airfields. They are a joy to fly in. As always, if you've been to Fenland in real life, I'd love to know what you think and see how it compares, especially if you, you fly here. It's always interesting to see what people who visited in real life think of a place. Um, it's got bags of character. We're up here, just north of Cambridge in the Lincolnshire Fens, and we're going to go for a nice little flight, see what's around, get a feel for the area, see what we can see. We're going to be going up in the Tiger Moth. Now, I haven't done a huge amount of flying in the Tiger Moth, but it is an aircraft that is absolutely gorgeous, and uh, it's a nice aircraft to fly out of a strip like this and fly around in the beautiful uh, Lincolnshire countryside. So... Let's uh, have less of me waffling and more of us flying. So here we are, a beautiful November afternoon. Sun is in the sky, in a blue sky. Nothing really in the way of wind around, perfect to take up the tiger moth and uh, have a look at what we've got here. So let's get moving. Let's just uh, ask them politely to take the chocks away. There of course is the signature burning blue design uh, Cessna 172 over there with their registration. You'll find her at uh, all of the burning blue design airports, I think all of them but it's their signature aircraft in their livery. Let's make sure we're clear of the diamond there. So it will be interesting to see uh, just how difficult this is to spot from
from the air. This is certainly a very atmospheric little airfield this. Never been here in real life, so uh, it's interesting to see what it's like. So we're going to line up on runway 18. The old P8 compass there in front of us. I will uh, put a link to a video I did some time ago, back when the channel was quite new where I uh, talked about how to use that, just in case anyone is uh, interested. Okay. Let's uh, line up. Really is a gorgeous day. Should, uh, everything should look rather nice from here. Okay, let's just bring it to a halt, then we can check over a few things. Now I have got multiplayer set up so I need to be a little bit careful because someone might be trying to come in as I'm messing about here. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take off and then we are just really going to head east and see what we can see. Just having a quick look around, I will just set the altimeter. So it reads zero here at the, oh it's, it's got a funny control this, so you have to almost like drag it, I seem to remember, yeah, there we go. Pop that back. Okay, let's go. Now this is a Canadian variant, although this is an RAF machine. A Canadian variant with uh, brakes and a tail wheel. Gentle with the power. Get some speed up. Really is a lovely aeroplane to fly. Come back on the uh, throttle a little bit. Wow, even from here, you can actually see how, um, yeah, it's not the easiest to spot, is it? You can see the runway markings. Back a bit on the power now. I do love these little grass strip airfields. They um, there's not much to them in terms of buildings and infrastructure and all that kind of thing, but they've definitely got a character. And you can imagine flying into this and going to the cafe and all that kind of thing. And um, you can imagine that there's quite a lively atmosphere here. I like how Burning Blue chews there choose what uh, airfields they're going to do. They seem to go for ones that are uh, have got some character and a little bit different and also they've, you know, variety. They've done Farnborough 
they've done Martha's Vineyard in the States. Um, Little Granston recently. Goodwood. Good old Goodwood. And of course Headcorn. I am a fan of what they do, I have to say. And this really brings to home just how flat the country is up here. I'm not so sure about over this way, but certainly a large part of the land in this neck of the woods was uh, reclaimed from the, uh, from the sea. Maybe more over towards um, East Anglia perhaps. I think I'm probably actually geographically talking out of my backside talking about this area. If any local experts uh, would like to comment, please feel free. So quick look around, everything's behaving itself. Good to see. Okay, let's head back, see if we can find it. Click spots mixed up here. Get out of the way. Get this lined up. So what's that heading of uh, about two five six? Just need to come slightly this way. say is that it but that's, uh, that's way too close okay I can see it it's trusting it uh it does show that there's a lot of fields around here that could easily look like they um, hold an airstrip. But you can see the, the shape of the buildings, or the area that's got the buildings on it over there. And just make out the runway. Just go and say hello. I 
Now interestingly, the weather is ever so slightly, ever so slightly, well we've got a, a wind of two knots from 268. So that's not a huge amount, but we will use the, uh, the correct runway for landing on this occasion. But first of all, we're just going to uh, have another quick look at this beautiful little airfield from the air. They have all sorts of different meats here, chipmunks, bulldogs, that kind of thing, and you can see why. It must be wonderful coming in for a fly in here. Okay, so we're going to come in. Beautiful afternoon. Now, uh, it's not there. Okay. What I should really have done, of course, is checked what the approach speed is for. Uh, this aeroplane. That would have been the professional thing to do. Because we are a little bit fast. This is a little bit silly. See so we can lose some of that speed. Just float her along a little bit. She certainly likes to float, that's for sure. There we go. One of the things about this aeroplane, actually, that it does teach you is that kind of nuts and bolts, um, stick and rudder kind of flying, uh, where you actually really feel the aircraft through the air and if you come in doing a fast approach like that, then you've got a lot of energy that you've got to bleed off. And of course, the tiger moth just wants to fly. She's quite happy with doing that. 
Right, so as we taxi back, it's competition time. What have you got to do? There are three prizes up for grabs. You need to send an email to the email address that I'm going to put below. If the email address isn't there, it's because the competition has closed. If you do send an email and you don't get a response, please don't be offended. I won't be able to respond to every single email that gets through before I've had a chance to change it. But what you need to do is email the email address below with the name of the airport, the only airport, that Burning Blue Design have produced for America at this time. Good luck. Don't forget we have a Discord. If you'd like to join that, I'll put a link down to that below. And it's been a pleasure having you along for the flight. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Take care now. Goodbye.